Hello and good morning and welcome to a new video. So today is a really fun Saturday. Starting off with a sitter session with a little girl and um, afterwards I have a cake smash session with a little boy. So it's gonna be fun. I have an hour in between session. I'll show you my setups. Okay, so this pink one I haven't pulled out in a while because I think it's a little bit too short. Uh, but the mom requested this pink one and if the baby is like sitting here or like lying on her belly it's big enough you see it's just a little baby um, so sh I have two outfits already picked out because I have time left so I thought I would already pick out some outfits it helps to start faster and give an idea of what's possible also the mom already selected some images from my website that she liked so I recreated those sets uh, almost exactly just a few moderations but this was the outfit that was with that set so I already picked it out for her she requested this specific set as well with this outfit so it's all ready and here I have another set she just wanted to have plain flocati with an, this white outfit and the little hat when I picked it out this morning I saw that it like the um, stitches came loose so make sure you always have a sew sewing kit in your studio so you can just quickly um, sew it back to where it was I still have my outfits here as well if she wants to pick another one um, I should rearrange them again by color that looks better so I thought I would just quickly show you something that I have here so what are some essential I items that I think uh, are very useful in the studio well, first of all, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, sewing kit, uh, that works. Uh, but also I have these, how do you call them? Mouth covers, here, face masks. I actually bought them in like a medical online shop. This is what it looks like. And uh, you can hear in my voice that um, my voice is different. Like I don't have a cold, I'm not sneezing, I'm not coughing. There's nothing dripping out of my nose. It's just you can hear in my voice that, I don't know, something's clogged inside. My ears are fine, my throat is fine. Um, but yeah, when you're photographing, especially newborns, you have to be really careful whenever you have a virus or yeah, you have a cold, you have the flu, whatever, um, to discuss it with the parents before. And if you feel like you really have a cold, cancel the session, like reschedule, because you don't want to get a baby sick. I have the advantage that I hardly ever get a cold, even though I work with a lot of kids who come here having major colds. Um, my kids go to school, preschool, so they can bring stuff home, but they are hardly ever sick either. So that's great. Keep it like that. Um, but maybe once a year I do get a cold uh, and then I will you know if it's bad I will cancel the sessions myself if it's like this where it's just my voice nothing else and I have a newborn session I will discuss it with the parents beforehand a lot of babies after they're born they are still protected with antibodies from the mom but um, yeah there are some things that are very dangerous to a baby I don't know what you call it but when you have this like patches around your mouth uh, like I think it's more like a herpes virus that keeps coming back for some people like every year for example um, that's very dangerous for a baby so if you have that um, don't be in contact with a baby don't touch a baby uh, because you really don't want to infect a baby because it can cause death like it's I, I will put some information in the screen right now I don't have that so that's a good thing but um, yeah, so a lot of babies are still protected from like just having a cold. So yeah, babies are extra protected when they get breast milk because then they get more antibodies from the moms. Um, but still, they can pick up viruses as well. And if a baby has like a clogged nose, for example, it's hard for them to drink because they, you know, when they're drinking, they're nursing, they have to breathe through their nose. And if they cannot, then you know they have to let go the of the breast or the bottle because they cannot drink and breathe at the same time so yeah if you don't really have a cold like there's no nothing dripping out of your nose you're not coughing you're not sneezing but you still feel like your voice is still different or you feel you know something clogged in your forehead i sometimes have that feeling what you can do is discuss it with the parents 
um, you know, maybe reschedule the session. But if they really don't have another option to come, you can wear these face masks. So um, that can be a good option to wear. I'm not going to tie it right now because I'm not photographing newborns today. Uh, but this can be a way to photograph a newborn. Always disinfect your hands before the session, during the session. I have this like soap with like alcohol inside. You just like wrap it on your hands. You don't need any water. So I think that's an essential as well to have in the studio. But um, yeah, to just clean your hands every time when you touch your phone, when you make the parents coffee, just disinfect your hands again. But yeah, it's always good to have these. Today I'm photographing a girl who is a little bit older. So yeah, you know, when babies go to daycare, when they have older brothers and sisters, they do get in touch with colds. And when they are seven, eight, nine months old, um, I, I wouldn't wear this anymore if I don't really have a cold anymore. You just hear it in my voice, but I'm fine. So I will photograph her today. Uh, the boy who's coming in is one years old. I mean, if you go to the supermarkets, people will have a cold. Uh, if you go take the bus, if you, if you go out shopping, you will come into contact with people who have a cold. You can never completely avoid it when you are older and you go out to public places. But with a newborn, it's different because they are still uh, a lot at home where they're really protected against viruses and colds. setting up for the cake smith session uh, with a little boy and the colors are like white or like off-white and gold and then with some touches of wood um, so we'll see how it goes here you can see the cake sweet and simple it's a gold drip cake um, with the fondant number one on top and some Dried real eucalyptus. Very pretty.
boy was great. He was smiling so much. And that's why I start with portrait photos without the cake. Because you never know if they want to eat the cake and how long that cake part will last. And if you have enough photos to fill an entire gallery. So that's why I start with portrait photos. And I have the bathtub photos afterwards. So that all together you have a beautiful gallery. So which programs do I use to present my photos to my customers? Well, someone was asking me how I transfer my photos to my computer. I use a MacBook Pro with a Retina screen. It's very sharp and I can sit wherever I want. Uh, so it's not like an iMac where I'm stuck to one location. I can even work in the studio here if I bring it with me. So I like that. Um, I just insert the SD card on the side. I create folders. Um, starting with the year, then the month, then the day. So that it's all sorted well. Then the name of the baby. Inside I have three more folders. One folder says all the photos. One folder says to do. And one folder says edit it. And then one folder says selection. If they select a certain amount of photos. Um, but that folder will come later. So what I do is I have my folder of all photos. I go through it, all the photos that I like, I will duplicate it. And then in the end, I take out all the duplicate photos, which says the file name and then copy. I insert them into my folder that says to do. Um, and then I usually have around 30 photos. So I say a minimum of 25, sometimes there are 35, sometimes 40, usually around 30 photos. And then I start editing them. And while I'm editing them, I'm saving them in the new folder, which says edit it. And then I will, um, well, actually there's another folder that comes later and that folder is called Pixie Set. Um, so I will get all the edited folders, rename them. So they have their beautiful name, which says, for example, newborn photo shoot, Emma, uh, 10th of January, 2018, Wonder Photography, number one. And then same title, number two. So that's the names of their photos. So they don't know how many photos were taken in between photo one and photo two. So they can never complain like what happened to photo three, five, six, seven, whatever. If you know what I mean. Um, then I will play an automatic action in Photoshop, putting my logo, well, resizing the photos to a smaller size, putting my logo on the photo and putting the text do not copy across the whole photo. Well, it's like on three levels of the photo. It says do not copy, do not copy, do not copy and my logo. Those files I will upload to Pixie Set. I still have a free account and sometimes I have like, I don't know, 30 sessions in there and I still haven't used my maximum storage space. Um, so I use Pixie Set. So then I send a nice message, I share the gallery with the parents, I say, okay, it was an honor to photograph your baby, um, you know, so many files are included, you can select them by giving them a heart, if you want to select more, that's fine, it costs this and this per extra photo, if you decide to want them all, to have them all, just send me a message and then um, you get the payment instru instruction to receive all the images from the gallery. So they're in the gallery in color, uh, when I give the photos, I send them through a WeTransfer link and I give them in color and black and white, both on high resolution without logo and on a lower resolution with a little line that says my webpage to post on social media. So they're a little bit more protected against the misuse by others. So others cannot just claim those photos to be theirs because my website is on the image is also uh, advertising of course if they share those images on their social media so that people know where to find me if they want to have a similar session um, of course people can always cut off your logo cut off your text uh, Photoshop it away um, that's just rude <laughs> don't steal other people's their photos and claim them as yours don't use them in an ad um, they're not yours so don't use them on your web page or anything that's just not cool so that's how I give my images to my clients so I hope that helps Please, uh, yeah, you can maybe in the comments write how you share your files with um, your customers. There's another web page that I can't remember right now. I'll put it in the screen that a lot of photographers also use besides Pixie Set. Um, but yeah, that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Love to read your comments and uh, wishing you a lovely day or evening. Bye bye.